Hey guys, I'm back. The uh, many projects I've been wanting to get wanting to get done, I can finally start doing. Uh, been a little preoccupied with taking care of getting us a house and all the other garbage. So now that I've finally gotten that taken care of, the family down here with me, um, I can finally start focusing on some of these smaller projects that will lead up to finally finishing my HHO stuff. So. To start with, today, I'll be working on making a tripod mount for my iPhone using the, I the iPhone's OtterBox Defender um, holster and uh, iPhone case. The holster, which I have another one right here somewhere, I broke, the, I broke this part of the buckle off. I don't know if, let me see if I can get it in the light. The little circle that you see in the center there. Uh, the tabs that are on the back side that mount that actually mount to the clip part those broke and so I've got one of the one of the big pieces here floating around here without that centerpiece until I can find it I'm going to use this one seeing as I keep this one on my belt anyways um, and I'll just make the iPhone mount with it uh, and then when I find the other one, I'll just redrill everything so that I've got one that is dedicated for the tripod and I can leave this one sitting on my belt and don't have to worry about fooling around with it. Alright, these are the parts that I'll be using to put this uh, entire assembly together. These are inch and a half right angle brackets. Uh, Stanley, I got them at Lowe's, I think. I don't remember, I've had them for a while, so don't remember where I got them for sure. This is the tripod mount with the quarter 20 um, screw in the bottom that is obviously the iPhone Defender case that I just showed you or a holster rather this is the actual bracket I'll be using these are the screws and nuts they are 1024 uh, by half inch uh, flat slotted with nuts um, they should be just long enough to fit through Focus. All right, fit through the angle bracket and the thickness of the holster itself and still leave room for the nuts. <clears throat> so I will ma uh, mark the holes that I plan on drilling. Let's see if I can do this one with one hand. This is why I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> I can use both of my hands. All right, lighting. There we go. All right, what I'm planning on doing is having this bracket in here so that the this hole here I can pivot so that I can sit flat like this and the the phone can be vertical or turn it like this and the phone could be horizontal <clears throat> and obviously if you can think with it in your head this is how it's going to end up looking and it'll brace itself uh, on the bottom of the uh, iPhone holster or this way on the iPhone holster. Um, I can drill two holes, but I'm going to see if I can get away with just doing one. Um, the only thing I might see getting in the way is this, but that can rotate out of the way, so I'm not too horribly worried about it. There will be a hole here for the camera and its light. Okay, here I've clearanced the holes in the uh, right angle bracket to take that quarter 20 volt I don't know what size the holes are but I'll just use a quarter inch bit since that uh, threaded section in the um, tripod mount is a quarter 20 bolt or quarter 20 thread okay here's what I've done this time I've taken this piece so if I can do this all with one hand uh, alright this is pretty much what I did that way it butts up nice and tight um, back off there you go that way you can see how it's going to sit but what I did is I took the center of that hole and I scribed marks which I'm sure you can tell through the uh, through the picture right there try to refocus alright there we go um, alright there we go all right, if you can see that, there's uh, scribed marks along the center of that hole where uh, I got an idea of where that hole was going to sit uh, with it butted up like this. And then I took the piece and I turned it this away. 
if I can grab a hold of it all together. Damn, this is easier said than done. Alright, well it's not perfect, but you get the idea. Then I took, then I scribed a, a second cross hatch right there so that I could actually get it to sit like this if I wanted to. And now this will require, you know, removing the screw and the nut to, uh, to make the change, um, other than using, other than the actually using the tripod, which is kind of buried right there, but, um, this will be a, uh, another way to change between upright and horizontal. All right, here is the second hole, the, uh, hole itself is the 3 16 um, drill bit for the screw head uh, for the screw shank um, the screw head I actually did a combination of a couple uh, uh, a couple drill bits but it is properly well I won't say properly but it is countersunk um, you can get away with just using the nine the nineteen sixty fours. The I did uh, cut the top edge a little bit with uh, one of the larger drill bits, but this is the closest we can get without having proper countersink tools because they're uh, hundred degree. Um, the machine head these these screw heads I believe are hundred degree countersinks, and most drill bits are hundred and eighteen degrees on their uh on their cutting angles so that's the closest we can get with uh, what i've got here and i don't feel like spending the money for a countersink tool for just something as stupid as this so this hole is taken care of i will screw it all together mount it and then i'll work on doing the camera the camera hole so that we can actually see out uh, through the back of the case all right guys it's all completed. Uh, the screw's in place. I did double nut it so that, you know one of them acts as the jam nut. The quarter twenty bolt in or the quarter twenty nut uh, clearance for that uh, the uh, tripod screw, and then the everything else. Uh, you've seen how everything else goes in. So, oh, and by the way, there's the tripod. I will snap it in hopefully with one hand and in the view of the camera. All right, locked in. Turn it around, and that's the that's the hole I had to make for the camera. I don't really know if I'm going to make one for the uh, for the flash or not. Considering you know how much light I usually have around here, I don't think I'm going to worry about it until I actually really need it. Um, that was the screw up from before, uh, partially because it's on the wrong side, and also because of the fact that the drill bit that I tried to use to countersink it. It just pulled right through the plastic since I had it in the drill instead of doing it by hand, um, which I did with this one. And this one is f uh, flush. So I'll snap it in and show you guys real quick how it looks through the camera mounted on the tripod. And as you can see, everything lines up, lock it in place. And there we go. Nice and steady and still. I can move it with the tripod controls of the tripod didn't move around on me uh, and there we go I might have to loosen up the screws on the tripod a little bit but other than that pretty good yep and at a fair level for trying to do the work that I need to do here um, I can shorten with the legs so if I ever need to make it higher you know more elevation I'll just shorten up the legs and put it on the on the workbench which yes I know I need to clean off so with that said and done uh, I will close up this video trim out the garbage and post this to YouTube thank you guys for watching oh by the way please comment and uh, please at least uh, rate the video or whatever it was so that more people can see the videos uh, the stuff I'm doing uh, coming up for um, the cell back there, I would like more people to be able to see 
and uh, perhaps participate in uh, the cell build. So please comment and uh, please rate the videos and uh, that way more people can uh, see it on the YouTube searches. So thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully you guys will like the next few that I'm doing.